everybody and welcome back to my channel for the next part of Let's Play The Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge. It's been a while since I've played this game. It's been like a week and a day, I think, so I don't really remember what we were up to. Um, I know that we obviously got Zoe here and we've got her little son, Oliver, and we had his birthday party in the last episode. And other than that, I don't remember what was going on. I think Zoe is off. She's off today. Um, which is good because she's having a lion and a half and so is baby boy. Um, I did give baby boy a makeover. He looked super cute in his little clothes. Um, absolutely adorable. And we need to just figure out what we're going to do today. I really want to get Parker moved in, to be honest. I think it's just time. It is honestly time. I'm going to get Zoya up. Uh, she's not fully rested. She wants to go and do it with Parker. To be honest, love, we're just going to move him in. We're gonna move him in. It is time. It's time. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to see if anything happens between these two. And honestly, it is just not. It is not working out for us. So I'm just gonna get get his butt in this house because honestly, we need his help. We need his help. We are raising his son alone, and it's about time he started pulling his weight. So I think he'll be in work. He's in the business career thing. So I think he'll be in work till this evening. So we've got a little bit of time. I'm just going to prepare some grilled cheese real quick while baby boy is sleeping and then we don't actually have a high chair so we'll just have to give him a bottle which is fine we just got tired of the old place and decided to go for a change of scenery comes with molly french as she and sandy french were moving lovely so molly is on the move um molly was feeling a bit overwhelmed by the number of sims occupying her previous home and decided to move out okay fab Good times, good times for Molly. So, baby boy is awake, let's feed him. You're gonna have to stop eating, my love. Baby boy needs you. Uh, and you also want to toss him in the air, which we can do. I'm not gonna lock in and go on a date with Parker. To be honest, I don't wanna go on a date with Parker. I just wanna get him moved in. We need the help, to be honest. And Zoya has been waiting years at this point. How old is this boy right now? What, like, two? You're coming up for two years old like we have been well maybe not because he's not walk, not walking yet but he's like like it's been years they've been dating for years and you know zoya went with the whole baby stage with oliver on her own like it is about time the parker moved in with us so let's finish eating our sandwich i also did a few bits in the house what's up kid Maybe potty trained. I can potty train you. No problem, no problem at all. I also changed a few bits up in Oliver's room. I changed his bedding colour and he also changed his rug to this car rug because he's obsessed with little, this little car toy. So I wanted to reflect that in some of the decor in his room, which I thought was really cute. We also are playing with base game and all the stuff packs I have. And one of the stuff packs I have is fast lane so it'd be really cool to have a sim that is really into cars so yeah we'll see how that goes with mr oliver so why don't you come and play with your toy uh, and then maybe zoya you can go and get changed into your everyday wear and then maybe we can call and invite parker over and ask him to move in because like i said i feel like it is time to be honest um that he moves in it is just it is just time and he says, sure, I'll come over in a little while. So we'll just clean this counter really quick whilst we wait for him to come over. Um, here he is. So let's greet him, invite him inside. Oh, we're shouting at him. We're accusing him of cheating. What? <gasps> what? What just happened? We accused him of cheating. Did he cheat on us though? How? She's upset. What? Sims love to be around this minted breath. It sure puts the alternative. I am confused. What is happening? What is going on, guys? Now we're apologizing to him. We're saying that... Betrayed. What? Did you see the game? I was there. It was awesome. What do you say? Oh my goodness. What just happened? <laughs> um, I thought we were going to move in together, so did Parker cheat on us? I don't understand where that came from, like he, he literally just came to the house and we were immediately just on him, like how dare you cheat on me? <gasps> what? 
what? Right, let's just queue up some friendly interactions here. Uh, we need to get to the point where we can ask him to move in. Um, and then we need to get to the bottom of this potential cheating thing that is going on. Okay guys, Zoya and Parker have been talking for a little while and now she is ready to ask him to move in. They're talking about the betrayal that she feels. I'm not sure where this came from and how she, like, I don't remember seeing any notifications about, about Parker potentially cheating. So I'm really confused as to where her sort of reaction to him arriving at the house came from. So let's ask him to move in and we'll check it out for ourselves. So we just want Parker and he's bringing 5,000 simoleons with him. So let's accept and say yes, I would really like for them to be a little family together. So here we are, Parker has moved in. Zoya is not feeling too, too sharp. So let's use the bathroom. Uh, it's broken, the toilet is broken. And then here is Parker, he wants to become friends with someone, invites him over, play guitar in the park. So how is little Oliver doing? He's not doing too bad. I think we should have Parker just interact with him a little bit because they haven't had a ton of interaction, to be honest. He wants to teach Oliver to walk, which is super cute. That is definitely something we can do. So we can set that off. And Zoya is furious. She's in such a bad mood right now, bless her. Um, maybe we can, uh, mood is too low. Oh my goodness, she's really, really feeling it. Let's have a bath, maybe. Oh my goodness, it's so, it's dirty. It is really dirty. Um, but let's jump, let's just have a dirty bath. And maybe that'll help her feel a bit better whilst uh, Parker is out here with, where do I put that? Whilst Parker is out here with Oliver teaching him how to walk. How cute is this? Oh God, he can't do it yet. And so he wants to watch a movie, bless her. Oh, he's getting a phone call. It's Sawyer and it is Jamie. So let's chat with our friend Jamie. Wonder what she wants to chat about, if anything at all. Um, yeah, we can talk. Everything okay, girl? Hopefully it is. Oh, that was a very quick conversation. And uh, Zoya, are you in a good enough mood to read your book? Yes, okay, so we'll set Zoya off reading her book. I wonder why she was feeling so upset towards Parker um, and why she felt so betrayed by him. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. So how is baby boy doing? Not too bad, and um, Parker is feeling a little tired, but overall not too bad. He does have work tomorrow, so we do need to keep an eye on his energy levels. Maybe we'll just get halfway. We're teaching Oliver how to walk for tonight. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have Parker obviously train Oliver, put him to bed, and then go and have a little sleep. Um, Hank is now the father of a new baby boy. Pauline gave birth to a baby boy named Syrae? Syra? 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 Oh, I do not know how to say that. I'm going to have to learn how to say that. Um, but that is good news. Congratulations. Congratulations to the two of them. Look who's getting hitched. Olive Bunch and Kaylin Langerak. Be sure to stop by and congratulate a couple before the big day arrives. So that is Parkett's sister, uh, which is really lovely news. So we will give baby boy this bottle and then we will put him back to bed. Go to sleep. Well, she, not, she won't sleep in the same bed as him. What is going on with these two? You're gonna have to sleep on the couch then. These two are having a really, really bad relationship issues right now. And then we can use the toilet and um, have uh, some leftover grilled cheese. Okay, maybe not. The carpool's here. Oh my goodness, these poor Sims are in the wars, something rotten. These two Sims are not getting along and really like, confused as to what's happening here. I wonder, <gasps> oh, okay, well there's our answer fam, there's our answer, Parker has romantic interest with Zoe, which is Zoya's boss, 
Okay, well there we go then. That is why Zoya was feeling so betrayed. But Zoe, but Zoe, um, Molly, sorry, Molly has a partner, so I'm confused. Like, so she must be cheating on her partner with Parker. But how did Zoya find out about that, I wonder? Is it just, yeah, it's just Molly. He's having an affair with Molly. Okay, well, there you go then. He's not in work, thank God, tomorrow, because he's in such a foul mood. Oh, it's Saturday. He's getting a phone call, so let's answer the phone. Who is calling us and what do they want? Um, oh, my ghost. No, we don't know anybody that's recently died. Well, there you go then. That's what caused the betrayal. So what does that mean then? What does that mean for these two? What does the future hold then? They've just moved in together. Master cooking skill, that's cute. They've just moved in together, but they're really not getting along. Maybe let's just wait 18 hours and then see what Zoya thinks. Maybe she feels a bit better about it. I don't know. And then the bath is broke. These guys cannot catch a break. I feel so bad for them. I really do. I, like, they are on the struggle bus. They really are. I know, Parker. I, I, I understand exactly where you're coming from. This is not good at all. At all, at all. Uh, let's have Parker call a repair technician. Parker does not strike me as the kind of guy who would give, give a bash at cleaning the sink, to be honest. So let's call the repair technician and then Parker, to be honest, you need to go to bed. Um, and then Zoya, I guess, we need to get baby boy up. To be honest, so let's, let's do that. Let's get him up and let's give him some food. He is so cute though. Oliver is adorable. I'm excited to see what he looks like as he gets older. He'll be so cute. And let's feed him on the floor. And then I think maybe let's work on our cooking skill some more. We do want to master the cooking skill. So let's see how we get on. Here is the repair technician who is hitting on Parker, honestly. Honestly, and the couple will come for Zoya. Are you in a good mood? As good as it can be, I guess. Uh, and let's have baby boy come and play with his toys a little bit. So we'll let Parker sleep until Zoya goes to work, which is right about now. So off Zoya goes, and then Parker can get up, and I want Parker to continue to teach Oliver how to walk because it's something that uh, he wants to do. So I'd like to complete that, and plus it's important that Oliver does learn his skills. And they're pretty close, to be honest, and it's so cute. Like, okay, so Parker is having an affair, right? He's having an affair with Molly. However, he is a good dad. I don't know, though, where Oliver's hair colour has come from, because I'm pretty sure both mum and dad have black hair. Um... But yeah, he's so cute, he's so cute. And he's so close to learning how to walk, which adorable to see him tot around the house. It'd be dead, dead cute. Yay! Oh no, it's not that. Something else happened. Um, so you got a raise, and then Parker learned another skill. I know, but you're so close. You don't want to. Okay, well, eat some peanut butter and jelly then, and then you're gonna get straight back on it to be honest, because you guys are so close. And I really, really want Oliver to learn his skills. And you want to party train Oliver. So despite the fact he, Parker is having an affair, yay, Oliver just went to walk. Congratulations, Oliver. Despite the fact, um, despite the fact that um, Parker is having an affair with Molly, there's no denying that he has been a very good dad to Oliver since he moved in. Like he wants to party train Oliver, he wants to see Oliver age up well. So he has taught Oliver more of his skills than Zoya. Um, but to be fair to Zoya, she's been feeling really not, um, not the best. You know, she's obviously feeling really hurt by Parker. And I guess we'll see what she wants to do after 10 hours, like whether she wants to try and make things work or not, I don't know. He's so close to learning the party as well. He did! 
Yay, congratulations. Baby boy is smashing it. Um, and he is feeling okay, so let's have him come and play with his toys a little bit. And we can have Parker come and empty this. Look at him, <laughs> tottering around. I love it when they walk. They are so cute. The toddlers and the Sims 3 are so cute. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have our, um, Parker go to bed because him and Zoe don't seem to be able to sleep in the same bed at the moment. So um, we need to make sure that he's getting his sleep in while Zoe's at work because I think when she gets out, like, you, you're then not going to want to go to bed together. But we have only got eight hours. Oh no, Christopher's stuck. I like Christopher, he's one of my favourites in Set Valley Townies. I was kind of hoping that one of the girls would get with him, but um, that they haven't, so that's... Oh, it looks like we might get a promotion though. What? Oh, we did. I was going to say, what the hell? Congratulations, always impressive performance. It's a promotion to Wine Club, as well as a bonus. Meals are finally being put squarely in your hope. Well, hopefully capable hands as line cut you're tasked with additional did we did we not already read this i feel like we've already read this um but that's good so molly is our boss and we are still friends with molly so i guess we know that parker has cheated on us but we don't know it was with molly is what i'm guessing has happened okay well, I'm just going to take care of everybody's needs and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Okay, guys, it is not the morning, but we have just received a notification to tell us that Parker is now the father of a new baby girl. Molly just gave birth to a baby girl named Julie. So it appears that not only is Parker having an affair, he actually got Molly pregnant and he's just received notification that he is the father of a new baby girl. Okay, and he just rolled the one to marry someone, but he hasn't specified who he wants to marry. He hasn't specified whether he wants to marry Zoya or Zoe, uh, or Molly, sorry. I just, I don't know what to make of this. I do not know what to make of this. Is this her? Yeah, that is Julie French, his daughter. Now, Molly is in a relationship, right? So is Molly trying to sort of pass off Julie as her boyfriend's daughter and not Parker's daughter? Is that what's going on right now? Parker is just gonna have to go and take a nap on this couch because they can't sleep in the same bed. Obviously, Zoya appears to know that Parker is cheating on her, or has cheated on her, but I don't think that she knows that he has fathered another baby. Oh my goodness. I am in shock. I am in shock. Oh my goodness. Zoya Patel is apparently not interested in fixing this relationship, so has decided to break it off. They are no longer romantic. So Zoya's betrayed moodlet finally expired, and she decided that she didn't want to try and make things work with Parker, and they have broken up. Whether she knows that Parker has had a baby with somebody else, I do not know. I do not know. But either way, she has decided that she cannot forgive his betrayal and she has decided to end their romantic relationship. Okay, well this episode took a turn in a direction that I did not foresee. Um, so, you know, I was hoping that Parker was going to move in, that we were going to start to move forward with these two as a couple, like work on some skills, have some promotion, start earning some money between the two of them and maybe get pregnant again with baby number two. But clearly that is not going to happen um, because, yeah, Parker is a dirty little cheat and has cheated on Zoya and fathered a baby with somebody else. Which is crazy. I, Molly must try to be like, she mustn't know. Zoya mustn't know that it's Molly 
that Parker has been having an affair with. She must have got wind that he was cheating, but not with who, because she's still friends with um, Molly. And I don't think that she would still be friends with her if she knew the. Uh, I, I am in shock. This has just taken a turn, a absolute turn. Oh my goodness, guys. I, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> Things have gone in a completely different direction, so we'll have to think about where we want to take this next. I obviously want Zoe to have more children, I want her to get married. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to go out and see if we can meet somebody new. I guess her her relationship with Parker is is over. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.